Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. Before we get into the video, I just want to take a moment to say thank you to all of my ch If you're not a channel member, then consider becoming one. Um, I have two tiers. The first tier is a shout out. Uh, the first tier is a shout out supporter where your name will appear at the beginning. The second tier is the weekly catch ups and where I normally provide on a weekly basis some form of content, whether that is a pre recorded video. Usually speaking, that will be in the form of a get ready where I talk to you about my, my life stuff that is going on. It's the, they're a little bit more personal, or I do a live stream and I just catch up with you guys. It kind of depends on what I have going on. I play it a little, I do try to deliver pretty much every single week. On the member of course if you can't be a member just being here and watching the video is greatly appreciated if you want to leave a like and a comment that will be even more and i would of course not say no to a super thanks regardless just you being here being present and interacting with the video is more i just want to take this moment to say an extra thank you to my channel members if you're a channel member you know how much i appreciate you how much you mean to me and I keep you up to date on as much as possible the things that are going on in terms of uploading with content etc so thank you again so so much I really do appreciate it you mean hey guys what's up and welcome back to the channel my name is Lona I'm also known as she power transformations I'm an online health and fitness coach and I'm also a bodybuilder should do quad flexing I trained them today here we go okay so See, I'm a bodybuilder. <laughs> and today we're going to look at some Dockety Dozen and some shorts because their videos are too long. And uh, I'll figure out in the replay if my mic's fixed. I've put my USB in a different port and it's like the cable is not uh, like, like tangled up as much anymore. So hopefully my mic is not as bitty as what it was before because I noticed in the last video that I was editing that it was like cutting out a lot. And I think it's just because I was using a different uh, USB port and the setup, basically, with the cord being all like too, like maybe not not spread out enough. I don't know. That's the only thing I can think of. If it persists, I might have to look into getting a new microphone. Anyway, if you're curious to see what I do in terms of like bodybuilding and all those things, then check out my dedicated playlists. I do vlog, usually a full day of eating, as well as like a weekly vlog. I also upload shorts and then reels. I actually uploaded two shorts today. One of which was me doing pull-ups yesterday and one of which was when I started training over a decade ago or around a decade ago doing pull-ups as well. Uh, somebody left a comment and I think we misunderstood each other. I thought they thought that you can only do pull-ups, that I could only do pull-ups because I'm on performance enhancers. And the reason I want to show it is not necessarily because I think we misunderstood each other, which is fine. But also, I want to show you guys that you, you can do these things without performance enhancers. You can train hard and you can be strong without performance enhancers because I was strong without performance analysis. I was just very consistent in my training. So, you know, just apply yourself, be consistent, work hard, push yourself, and you will be able to do things like pull-ups and dips. Uh, I don't do dips as much anymore because I keep getting shoulder problems. So they're kind of like off the menu for me. But pull-ups is something I've always done. From the moment I started training, same as like chest, this is why I have like a very defined chest. I've always turned chest, never skipped. I've, this is one of those things. I always did chest, I always like bench pressing. Pull ups, the second I started training, I just always did pull ups and I did them a couple of times a week until like I got good, good at them. And now I'm pretty good at them. I can do it like in for like max repetitions, I can probably do between 15 and 20. And then each set obviously like it declines. Otherwise, I'm just trying to think, I don't really know. Uh, I'm feeling tired today, even though I slept pretty well. I don't know if it's because my body fat is getting low, even though I don't feel hungry. I don't feel actually preppy, but I'm tired today. So we're going to look at some reels. I'm going to walk my dogs and I'm going to try and see if I can get a nap in before I have my online clients. So let's scooch over, scooch over and see what's going on. We'll just start with the, the most recent one uh, and work our way back, I guess. Here's what my 11 kids ate today. For breakfast, I made ham, egg, cheese, and spinach bread. See, I don't think this is too bad. Spinach, ham, cheese, it's like like a wrap, okay? You know, this is, this I think is actually perfectly fine. There's some vegetables, there's some cheese, there's some eggs, some whole foods. A ham, obviously it's better than bacon, usually speaking. So this is pretty good. Breakfast wraps with honeydew melon. For lunch, I packed them a sandwich, carrots, So we've got chips. You see, this is a bit like sandwiches. I mean, I know it's normal for kids to eat sandwiches, I suppose. 
them full of like bread is not inherently bad. You can pack them full with vegetables and salads and like um proteins and stuff like that. You can make your own you could like make your own roast chicken breasts or like slow cook some chicken breasts or something like that. Um with seasonings and then you can like put down some just just like the kind of thing I would do, I think, as a parent. Um yogurt is okay. The the Gatorade is light, the chips. I mean those ruffles are amazing. I just don't think Kids should eat crisps every day. I just don't see why. Why they would have to. Chips, yogurt, apple slices, and Gatorade. I made them an after-school snackerty board to share. Is this like pizza? Raw broccoli. Yeah, I'm not fan of the raw broccoli. For dinner, we had fish stick taco. It's just beige fruit in it. It started off so well, but here we go. Just beige foods. And don't get me wrong, I'm sure work to maintain a household of 11 or well like technically it's 13 right with the father and the mother and the dogs as well i can imagine it's, it's a pain in the ass but just you know you can just slow cook food stick things in the oven get a slow cooker a pressure cooker whatever um and you can make it healthy it doesn't all have to be based beef like oven food if you're gonna stick the oven on just stick something in it that's healthy and I made regular taco meat for Dash and Deshaun, who don't like seafood, plus toppings, chips, and salsa. Like, why are you getting the crisps? Oh, I'm so confused. And they had cookies and cream ice cream sundaes for dessert. But why? Why though? Like, why did. <sighs> I think it's really weird to just have dessert. Like, I don't. I didn't go dessert. We had dessert like on special occasions. We don't have dessert every day. Bon appetit. Here's what my here's what my eleven kids ate today. It's muffin board Monday. It's not start to your day. That's just like like where's the day? I made a solar eclipse themed muffin board with sunshine waffles. Jesus, that's just no food, is there? It's just. Open up packets and stick it in the front. Open up packets, put it on. All she does is just like open up packets and like arrange it prettily. For lunch, we had sub platters and pizza catered by Wegmans. Again, fast food, sandwiches, bread. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with bread, but you don't have. This is like me as a Dutch person, and like Dutch people, they literally just eat just cheese sandwiches and stuff like that. But really, I think if you know a bit more about nutrition, and maybe she doesn't, but like kids, like they just should, shouldn't eat pizza every day. They shouldn't eat fast food every day. They shouldn't have to have desserts every day. This is wild. We had a solar eclipse themed. <sighs> it's just, it's just fast food. It's just like seriously, is this normal for people? That like for my American viewers, which is the majority of yours, is this normal? Because to me, as a European, not just because I'm a fitness person, but to me, just as a European, this is really fucking weird. We don't eat like this, and especially not this much processed and fast food. Maybe they do nowadays. I don't know. Like obviously, hey fish. Obviously, I don't have kids, and it's been a while since I was a child. But this is to me very strange. Afternoon snack table for Zoe's twelfth birthday party. With moon pies, sun chips, donuts. Okay, fair enough. If it's for a birthday party, I'll, I'll excuse it. For birthday parties, it's okay to have some treats. Sushi, moon cheese, freeze-dried mint chocolate chip ice cream sandwiches, cosmic crisp puffs, cookies, cupcakes, a cheese platter, eclipse gum, starburst candy, and deviled eggs. Deviled eggs are nice, though. I, I'm very, I, I'm partial to anything egg. I freaking love eggs. So if I was to make deviled eggs, how I would do it, obviously you boil your egg, you hollow out the, the yolks, then you mix it with some mayonnaise, salt, pepper, maybe a little bit of smoked paprika, some chai through there, very nice. You could put through there some curry ketchup if you have it, just a little bit, that's like a very Dutch thing. Um, but if you want to make it spicy, you could do like maybe like a little bit of spicy salsa or like uh, what could you do that? Like maybe like a little bit of hot sauce. Oh, so awesome now. Plus, sun-kissed orange soda. 
For dinner, we had cheeseburgers, tater tots, and Nana's homemade. This is so, like, seriously, these kids are going to be so obese and so sick by the time they're 30. That, like, they, there's zero nutrition to be found anywhere. I understand, like, if you have a whole meal and there's, like, one item that's, like, the tater tots, okay. But the burgers probably come from a packet. They're covered in cheese, which, like, some cheese is fine. And then the buns and the this. It's just, like, where is, like, where is the whole food? Where is the, anything wor worth, worth calling nutritious? Made applesauce. And birthday cake for dessert. Bon appetit! Here's what my... Again, I will, uh, I will excuse that particular one because it was for a birthday. I think for birthdays, special occasions, it's okay to treat yourself. I do think that. I'm not that extreme. I be healthy all the time. Everything in moderation is just... Seeing... Seeing these children eat like this almost on a daily basis is, is sad. And I'm not surprised that the majority of them are, are overweight and obese as they get older. Here's what my 11 kids ate today. Dad Doherty made breakfast on the Blackstone, bacon, hash browns, scrambled eggs, and fried eggs. For lunch, we had ham and cheese hot pockets with pepper slices, banana. It's like, this is not even homemade, again, just from a packet. And as Clementine's Pirate's Booty and- But at least there's fruit, but again, there's no protein. All of these meals are just carbs, mostly carbs and fats. Fruits are great, but like, why not? <sighs> I have just like some actual side and cheese it. They grabbed something from the wow. That's like a grocery shop. I have never seen a pantry. It's filled so much with just like snacks. That's wild. This is literally wild to me. I've never seen that in my life. Pantries for their afternoon snack. It's, this is in their house. They, well, I mean, like, there are 12 people or like 30 people in total, but this is like, uh, like a doomsday prepper kind of shit, isn't it? You can, like, you can survive almost a year on that. That's wild. This is literally their pantry. This is so crazy. It looks like you're in a supermarket. For dinner, we tried the TikTok trending ramen lasagna with garlic bread and salad. <sighs> I don't know, but this really triggers me. It, I, children are not responsible for their own health. It's the it's the adult's responsibility. It's like same with pets. Pets. If you can't take care of your pets properly, don't don't have pets. If you can't afford them, don't have pets. If you can't feed them properly, don't have pets. With kids, even more so. Like you're literally setting your children up for a lifetime of fucking health problems. It's so so sad. Again, I'm not saying don't eat any of it ever, but every fucking day. Oh, hold on. We we have some salad here. <laughs> and we've been having a fire pit all weekend, so the kids wanted to have s'mores for dessert. Bon appetit! Here's what my 11. Hi everyone, it's Alicia with the Dr. D Dozen, and here's this week's meal plan for our family of 13. Here is this week's dinner menu that we made together ramen, lasagna, cheese. Like, literally. The only healthy thing I can see is the salmon. This seems alright. The ribs with the mashed fritter, the mashed potato, mixed veggies. That's okay. A whole meat if they make the bird, if they do the ribs themselves, the mashed potato themselves, the veggies. Okay, grilled cheese. Like all of the other stuff is just. Hi everyone, it's all. All, all of the other stuff is just. Just process. Show with the doctor who doesn't, and here is this week's meal plan for our family of 13. Here is this week's dinner menu that we made together as a family. Zoe's 12th birthday is on Wednesday. From there, we add in what we'll have for breakfast and lunch every day to make our grocery list separated out by areas of the store. And remember, you are. <laughs> it, it's very precise. If you like making lists, I guess it's, that's okay. To be fair, it's probably like a lot of groceries, so maybe it's worthwhile writing down. 
for me it's easy because I kind of eat the same thing every single day, especially when I'm in a trap. So I guess not so much thinking. Hi everyone. Saying that they seem to eat the same shit also. Like I've I've well, this is my third video I'm, I've made on them, and so far all the food seems to be roughly the same kind of things. Here's what my 11 kids ate today. They grabbed cereal for breakfast. Cereal's not breakfast food. It's nice. I love myself some cereal, especially some um, lucky charm. I remember back in the day when I was doing a diff with a different coach and a different prep, I used to beat my, I used to carb load on the lucky charms. It was good, very good. I like the lucky charms a lot. Very partial Coke Pops. Coke Pops are good. My clients get cereal post workout because it's like a fast absorbing carbohydrate, fast absorbing carbohydrate. So often there is cereal on their plan post workout. But um, yeah, it's uh, for, for a kid to set themselves up for the day, I don't think it's ideal. For lunch, I packed them a sandwich. It's just. The carrots, okay. They're like the only time there's a whole food there is like in the form of fruit or veggie, which is good, but which clementine yogurt, applesauce, carrots, chips, and juice. For dinner, we had Dr Pepper pulled pork with mashed. That's good. We have some like real food. Potatoes and corn. If the mashed potatoes is homemade, it's fine. If it comes from a packet, not so great. I'm guessing it does come from a packet. And that, that sweet baby rice um, barbecue sauce slabs. I think they do as well. Or very low calorie one. Anyway, I used to have it before. It's very nice. And for dessert, I made Dr. Pepper ice cream soda floats. Why do they need to have dessert with every meal? I don't get it. It's so weird. It's very nice. Uh, ice cream, like, don't get me wrong. I would, I would eat this. But why? There's no need. I like for dessert. Bon appetit. Costco haul for my family of 13. James and I headed to Costco to stock up for the month. We quickly filled flat. Hi, Daisy. Hi. Do you need some attention? Do you need some attention? Oh, oh. Bed one with 360 bottled waters and grab. 360. Why? Get a fucking water filter. What a waste. Like, and like, I'm not one to talk. Like, I do drink water, but I do fill my bottles up, usually speaking, with. Filtered water. Like, usually I get a pack of six, and then, like, every pack of six, I get, and I, I, I know I should get glass. I don't know what it is, though, from glass. Like, it just doesn't taste as good. But I know I'm not, like, necessarily want to talk, but I do I do drink four or four to five of these a day, and I I literally fill this up. Like, I, I'll use one of these plastics maybe for, like, four or five days. So I do, I'm pretty mindful considering when I go shopping, I'd like, I'm not, I'm not like plastic awareness or anything, but this is just ridiculous, isn't it? Like there's no need for having all of that, all of that water, just get a fucking water filter. Like surely at this point it would just be cheaper to just buy a water tank or like some, something that you can install on your tap that filters the water. That it has to be cheaper than just buying bottles of water. And like, where does, do they, do they, where does all this plastic go? Do they have recycling? I mean... Maybe they do, maybe they don't, but it's just like, where do all these bottles go? Flatbed 2 for 8 cases of Gatorade, 4 packs of paper towels, and 10 dozen eggs. We left that flatbed up front with the other one and grabbed Flatbed 3 for the snacky snacks. And for how long was this? For like a week? Two weeks? I mean, like, there are a lot of people, so... We got 6 boxes of chocolate chip muffin bites for the kids and 2 boxes of egg bites for me. Then we saw these moon cookies and thought they'd be perfect for Zoe's solar eclipse birthday party on Monday. James Impulse bought a pineapple and we stocked up on batteries for the house. Next we got 208... How many batteries do you go through? Like I buy batteries. But I buy batteries like well, once every six months. Like what do you need so many batteries for? We ate things of chips for the kids lunches this month. Cashews, gum, Italian seasoning, and I got these mini naans for make your own pizza night this Friday. And then we headed to checkout and decided to buy one of everything on the Costco food court menu, including 12 double chunk chocolate cookies. That's it for today. See you next time. This is wild. Here's what my 11 kids ate today. For breakfast, I made them an Easter themed waffle board. I mean, that's like a turkey sausage, I suppose. For lunch, I packed them pizza. 
I just can't. I, I genuinely like. I watched this in disbelief, even though I know exactly what's going to happen. This is like watching his favorite series, and you know it was not my favorite series. <laughs> Bad analogy. I can't think properly. I'm getting hungry, and I'm very tired. Um, it's just wow. I just don't understand. Like what? Like why every day the crisps? Why? Why can't they? Eat some like real food. I just don't get it. Those celery, chips, yogurt, applesauce, and juice. They grabbed something from today's Costco haul for their afternoon snack. For dinner, I made tater tot casserole. She likes making a tater tot kind of thing in it. There's many tater tot things. With water. I've never had a tater tot. It's a tater tot just like mashed potatoes that have been like right in bread and deep fried. I think so. Watermelon, right? salad, and Nana's homemade applesauce. And, and where's, where's the protein though? So we're just eating carbs and carbs and carbs with fat. Us. And for dessert, they had Costco's double- Of course, of, of course there has to be dessert. Can't, can't have a dinner without dessert. Chunk chocolate cookie. The absolute lunacy. This is like the kind of stuff where people, uh, this is where um, nature versus nurture comes in. So when people say they have bad genetics, like no, you know, genetics is like whether you're prone to things like cancer or high blood pressure and stuff like that. Obesity, it, you, like, okay, grant some people are more likely to be like get obese than others because body types, etc. But kids that have been brought up in environments like this, it's going to be very difficult for them when they get older to not be obese. So I, I can totally understand, like, for, for example, with me, I've grown up, my, my family has always done their own cooking. We didn't grow up with fast food or takeout. It was very rare for us. On top of that, both my mother and my father were sports people. My father was actually a very high level athlete, really high level, as, like, as in like he was a European champion in judo. He was, he was like third or fourth in Holland, a strong man. He was fourth in the world in powerlifting. For real, like my, my father is an, is an athlete. I've grown up in gyms. I've grown up going to sports events. I've grown up in that kind of environment. If you, on the other hand, have been been brought up in an environment where I'm going to stop this video here because I need to eat, I need to eat. I feel myself getting really super yawning because I need to eat. If you, on the other hand, have been brought up in an environment where you every day you have a dinner and you have to have breakfast because that's what you do because you can't have dinner without breakfast. You can have breakfast, <laughs> dessert. You can have dinner without dessert. It's not mandatory. But if you've been brought up like this, eating nothing but processed food, never eating some actual real home cooked food, or very, very rarely, then yeah, it's going to be really hard because, like, you actually have a lifetime of like poor e eating habits to try and unlearn. And it's not impossible, but I definitely believe for kids like this that it's a lot harder because they just don't know any better. And once you're so once you're so used to eating, I'm saying this in the Amber video. Once you're so used to eating fast food and processed food and hyper palatable food, it's like it tastes different. Like it fucks your taste. Like it legit fucks your taste buds up. I did a I I did this once a lot, long time ago. I did like a full day of eating like Amber and Reed, and the next day I literally felt like my taste, my tongue was burned from just the amount of sodium that I ate that day. So. You know, like and like all the all the like MSG and like I don't know what the fuck, but like the next day my my mouth just felt horrible because I just wasn't used to eating like that much like so sodium and processed food. So if that's all you know and you don't know any better, to then get used to like eating real food, um, especially if you don't know how to cook, because clearly she doesn't know how to cook. All she knows how is like basically her cooking is like frying an egg at best. So if you don't know how to cook, you don't know how to make uh healthy food taste nice then I can definitely see how uh, it can be really hard, really, really hard for some for some people to try and lose weight because they've just been brought up like this. So I do have empathy and sympathy. Uh, it doesn't mean it's impossible, but yeah, it's kind of like fucked up because kids don't really have a choice, do they? You know, you eat what your parents give you. So I, I don't know what to think. I do think it's only my opinion, or like you know, this is completely my opinion, but I do think it is somewhat neglectful to just feed your children processed food and fast food. It's um, it's your responsibility as an adult to make sure you nourish your children properly, and I'm not saying put them on like a super calorie counted restricted like macro macro to macro pointed diet, but you know, moderation. Make sure you give them mostly whole foods. Get them used to eating real food. You don't want your child to be obese. You want your kids to be active and healthy. This is literally said, this will cause to sickness and poor health. Guaranteed. I mean, like, the kids are obese anyway. They're already obese. 
And they're like, what, 16, 17? And that's not to fat shame them, but like, they're obese because of her and because of what she feeds them. And it's not right. I'm sorry. This is not right, in my opinion. Anyway, I'm going to go because it's like, uh, I'm, I'm going <laughs> Stuff like this annoys me. And I don't think it's right. And I don't think it's fair. And I feel sorry for the kids. I really do because. I shouldn't be like that. And, and I, I really need to eat. And I really need to try and have a nap. So, on that note, I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe to the channel. Just like it. Let me know down below why. Insert a cookie emoji. And I will see you in the next video. Yeah. See you in the next video. Bye, guys.